Hi everybody, this is Barry Schwartz from the Search Edge Roundtable. This is the Search Buzz video recap. Today is Friday, November 26th, the day after Thanksgiving. Um, and I wanted to cover the uh, search news that we covered over the past week uh, today. Uh, again, this is uh, the news we covered over at the Search Edge Roundtable at seroundtable.com. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, reports from people over the UK and worldwide that Google sent out an email saying they are going to change the way they do their agency support. Meaning, if you spend a certain amount of dollars with AdWords, with Google AdWords, Google would usually assign a rep to you, and that rep would then uh, be able to be contacted directly via his, his direct phone line and help you with any issues that you have in terms of your campaigns. Um, Accu AccuraCast, um, who I think is based in the UK, got an email from the Google Dublin office telling him basically, Starting January 1st, they will be dropping their AdWords agency support. Uh, but there are some type of... Uh, uh, it's, it's not so clear. Google didn't respond to my email yet. Obviously, it's over the weekend. And it's hard to know exactly what's going on. But um, but it seems like uh, David, uh, in, in one of the posts, said that he posted part of the email. And it's not exactly clear. He wrote that... There will be the email said there's an enhanced agency service model effective January 1st, 2011, and it says your accounts will still be managed across London and Dublin as they are now, but you will have a single agency team managing your business here in London who will support all your activity across Google's offices. The thing is, some are saying that their agency support is being over outsourced overseas, while others are saying um, it's not true. I'm still trying to get a comment from Google. You can probably learn more about this. Um, hopefully, either later today or a Monday at the Search Engine Roundtable, and I'm sure I'll post something at Search Engine Labs when I have an official comment. Um, that's that's the uh, that's the uh, uh, agency thing. But um, I want to move on to the next thing, which is Instant Previews. Um, instant Previews launched uh, a few weeks ago, um, where basically Google was showing you. Uh, previews for your site when you mouse over, and it's still live today. For a lot of sites have this little magnifying glass. You on this Google search results, you mouse over, and Google will show you a preview of the site. The problem is, if Google didn't have a pre-cached uh, preview, Google will then uh, pretty much do an instant cache, do an instant um, uh, crawl of that site, an on-demand fetch of the page, and they would go ahead and uh, make a page impression on your web on your website. This was messing up Google Analytics. Um, a lot of people's data was inflated or the conversion rates were dropping and a lot of things were skewed up in terms of the in terms of the analytics. Uh, Google fixed the issue later on. The problem is um, any of the data past the past few weeks or so was not updated. So you have to keep that in mind that if you are tracking conversions, impressions and stuff like that, you have to keep in mind that uh, the analytics might be a little skewed because of the page previews. If you want to learn more about that, November 22nd at seroundtable.com. Uh, sorry, I still have a cold. I don't know. It's congested. Anyway, um, the Google site operator um, is, has always been somewhat uh, not so accurate for certain people. Uh, people. Google has always told people not to rely on it in terms of figuring out the index page count. Um, on November 23rd, I posted a uh, link to a webmaster roll thread where people were discussing how the Google site operator um, seems to be a lot more accurate, meaning site colon www.domain.com um, seems to be a lot more accurate than it was a week ago or even months ago. Um, it's hard to say exactly what's going on. I, I, did, I did a comparison of my sitemap files. Um, in Google Webmaster Tools, and I saw that Google said they indexed about 9,400 or so pages of my 10,000 URLs submitted. So this is I have exactly 10,000 URLs submitted. I should probably have more. So I'll look into that. But if you do a site command, it shows about 10, 000, uh, 15,000 indexed URLs, at least then. Let me do one right now. It shows about 15, over 15,000 URLs indexed. Matt Cutts made a comment. I'm not exactly sure exactly what it means, but he said, interesting inter uh, interpretation. The number of URLs that are indexed in, web, in Webmaster Tools is the number of URLs that are going to get cached. The URLs are, not, are shown when the using the site operator could potentially be old URLs that are not going to be re-indexed. These URLs can be removed from Webmaster Tools. So basically he's saying Google will be indexing and caching the stuff that shows in sitemaps, in the sitemaps of Google Webmaster Tools, but if you see some URLs that are inflated or whatever in the site 
command, Google says that by those URLs might drop off. So he's basically saying, of the 10,000 URLs or 9,500 URLs that are indexed, according to sitemaps, about five, 6,000 of the URLs that are reported in the site command for me will be dropped out of the index eventually. Interesting uh, thing. Um, anyway, there's more information about this on November 23rd at seroundtable.com. Um, Thanksgiving Eve, I believe, Google posted a blog post at the Google Webmaster Central blog t telling us that they have a new um, document or set of documents at code.google.com specifically to detail the robots.txt extension um, and how that specification works or how, about robot, how, how actually Google crawls and, and, and indexes your website. It has a very, very uh, detailed um, technical document on the robots.txt specification the robots meta tags and xrobots tag HTTP header specification. They have um, documents on all the Google crawlers and stuff like that. So you can learn more about this. I printed this out today. Um, I posted about it on November 26th. And you can probably learn a lot more about that uh, by uh, printing it out and reading it over the weekend. Uh, Tedster, the Webmaster World Forum, says he uh, looked at it. And one thing he learned was Google will obey uh, an FTP robots.txt uh, command if it was located in FTP extension slash robots.txt that txt and page one results um, added that he ha highlighted a specific thing that Google says redirects will generally be followed until a valid result can be found. Uh, we will follow a limited number of redirect hops uh, and then stop and treat it as a 404 at a certain point. Uh, <clears throat> so it's pretty interesting to see that as well. November 26th at nsroundtable.com. This week, there's some rumors that Google uh, has updated their image search. Uh, we posted about it on November 22nd. Um, the last update that I heard of was in June, but people were saying there was an update also in September. Uh, but it's hard to exactly say what's going on, but there was some chatter about Google updating their index uh, for the image search. <coughs> uh, AdWords advertisers have may, may have noticed this week that their quality score reported in the Google uh, AdWords console was a bit flaky. Google had this issue about a month ago as well. <coughs> and Google fixed that issue days later. Now there's still an issue we reported on November 22nd, which was on uh, Monday. I think the bug happened over the weekend that Google uh, has a major glitch, glitch with their quality score again. So if you go to your Google AdWords console login and you see your quality score of certain keywords and ads, you might notice that the quality score is not what you thought it would be. Google confirmed there's a bug. They still have yet to fix it. Some people are reporting things looking better, but it seems like Google has yet to fix it according to the latest that I've seen. This was about a week ago, which is pretty significant. Um, if you want to learn more about this, uh, this was on November 22nd at seroundtable.com. Uh, if you are a big Google Places local maps person, uh, you might notice that when you try to import your bulk listings, your bulk uh, map listings to Google, to Google Places, it's spitting out an error. A lot of people are saying the error reads unable to connect to feed processing server. Please try again in a few minutes. Some people are saying they've been trying again for the past week or so, and they still aren't able to upload to the uh, bulk processing center. Um, Google has not responded to any of these complaints yet. Mike uh, Blumenfeld also reported. To be fair, the, the, the complaints only started uh, Thursday or Wednesday night, um, so Google has probably been off, so I wouldn't worry about that, but I hope they do respond pretty soon. More information about this on uh, November 26th at saroundtable.com. Google Social Search is coming to Google Images. Um, I personally don't see it yet, but there are people who are reporting seeing it. Uh, we have a post about it on November 24th, Google Social Search pretty much launched about a year ago. It basically uh, looks at your social graph if you opt into it. Uh, people you're friends with on Twitter um, and Gmail and stuff like that. And it basically looks at your friends, what they're searching for, and how that might impact what your search results are for. Then it gives you a way to filter your results by social. Um, you can say all your friends, specific friends, and it will actually fine tune the search results that you're seeing for your social graph or specific friends that you're friends with. The thing what we see here is um, it was never live on Google Images, but now it is. Um, and people are actually seeing it now. I personally, again, do not see it. Um, let me bring up a screenshot for those who are watching so they can see it. 
And as you can see here, my screen, uh, there's a link over here, images, and then you can see all the people, and then it will actually go ahead and fine tune those search results for your social graph. As you can see, okay. Um, that's the social graph. We have a post about this. You want to see more information, November 24th. Uh, pretty much wrapping up right now. Uh, three more quick things. Logos. Today is the PP Log Stocking. Um, I guess the 65th birthday of PP Log Stocking. Um, there's a logo on very uh, a number of Google properties. Not Google USA, not Google UK. Uh, but Google Israel, Google Russia, Google Italy, and a bunch of other Google properties of uh, the Google uh, PP log stocking. He's basically, this person is basically a, uh, it's a series of, it's a fictional character, a series of children books uh, by a Swedish author named Astrid Lind, uh, Lindgren. Uh, and it was adapted to multiple films and to a bunch of television series. I personally never saw it or heard of this before, uh, but I'm based in New York, so I grew up in New York, so what do I know? Here's a picture of the logo. It's cute. Next is, uh, keep my screen up so you can see the logos. The pre-Thanksgiving logos. Google had a pre-Thanksgiving uh, set of logos. Pretty much promoting Ida Garden. Uh, Garden. Uh, she's a uh, food uh, network star. She also has several books and recipes and stuff like that. And it was pretty much promoting her recipes for Thanksgiving. This is the first logo. Uh, as you can see over here, and this is the second logo. And I'll make sure to put this in the actual uh, archive video. But when you click on these logos, it took you to her recipes with a link um, to a search result afterwards to her name, which then took you to her book, her website, and stuff like that, which you could buy the recipes. This followed up by yesterday's logo from Google, um, which was a fully animated logo pointing to six of her recipes, five or six of her recipes. Uh, I'm not going to show you the fill, but it was basically a logo pointing to several of her recipes, landing to that same landing page specific to the recipe you clicked on, and then obviously linking to a search result for her name, which then took you to her book, uh, which you could actually buy. Yahoo had a, a logo for Thanksgiving, a little turkey floating by, which is cute for the parade, uh, the Macy's Day's Parade, I guess, people following the turkey. Uh, Big had a logo, a very interesting logo as well. Um, Ask.com uh, had a pretty nice logo. Bruce Clay, Creative Site Forums, and the Search Engine Roundtable, that's us, had a nice logo. And I have a link to all the past logos uh, if you want to take check that out at uh, seroundtable.com. And you can, you can definitely see that as well. Um, so that pretty much recaps these search buzz give you a recap. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I guess we'll see you guys next week. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving and have enjoyed the rest of your Thanksgiving weekend. And we'll see you guys uh, next uh, Friday. I will be in St. Louis. Um, so I might do this video. I might just do a text recap. We'll, we'll see. And uh, thanks again for watching. And everyone have a great weekend. Today is uh, no, Friday, November 26th. And uh, this is the news we covered over at the Search and Roundtable over the past week. Thanks again and have a great weekend.